Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Who's doing the intro? You. <laughs> what not shadow talk? Shadow is here. Talking. Partially speaks. He's... Partially. Partially. Wait, wait. Partially. Wait, I had it in my head. Yeah, you. Oh, shit. Really? Water bottle well, moving. there's that. Nobody knows how to start the show, right? Eh? Uh, Welcome. Is it? Welcome to Shadow Talks. <laughs> It's ignorant, pointless. I'm, I'm, I was trying to put that shit in my head. Talks. I was trying to do it just now. Partially, <laughs> wait, wait, no, no. Partially, partially T shadow talks. Partially T shadow talks. What about pointless and ignorant? Pointless talks. No, because it still talks is you. Partly shadow. Uh, I'm mm. confused. Anyways, it's on you. We pointless. all here. Anyways, <laughs> all three shows are here. Everybody there. I'm Roll only call. here so I don't get fined. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Tea Shadow Talks podcast with partially ignorant co-host. Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Are you the co-host? He's a, the host? he's a person. The film god is here. Big up, big up, Yazid. Mm. Recording live from Kingdom Studio FTL. Mm. Um. So where are we gonna kick this thing off? This is part two of that fuckery we did a couple weeks ago. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Um, Shadow has been drinking her juice. So Not you know it's just reckless shit coming out of my mouth tonight. Uh, well, are we prepared? Everybody's prepared. You just here for commentary, huh? I'm, 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 I'm always prepared. Let's Fuck go. that and <clears throat> go. I thought you was asking questions. No, you said we have okay. To, fine, we, we talking about All safe right. words and shit. So uh, yes, we were talking about safe words. So the first question or the first topic we're gonna have is: Should there be rules in the bedroom? So wait, wait, hold on. So say, so you can say, "Welcome to Pointless Talks, Shadow T, Partially Ignorant." Just do it like that, cause the other way is too sloppy. I liked it like that though. All right, go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing, boss. <laughs> tell, tell Biz when you're ready. Let's go. I'm ready. Thank you for tuning. Oh Jesus Christ! See, you done got me now. Not, it's not natural. Since why I gotta do it? I'll suck. Cheer, okay. cheer, cheer, mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, one, three, if you's a yadi. Welcome back to the Partially Ignorant Podcast with Pointless Talks and Shadow T. This is you part two of um their episode, the last episode. <laughs> Um, you know what I mean? It was it was pretty good. Um, you, you you were on the I had episode fun. too. You keep saying y'all. Oh my bad, I was on there too. How are you just gonna start the show? I was talking about partially ignorant. For real, pointless, Nigga. partially ignorant with pointless talks. Um, yeah, this y'all, sh- is, y'all should have this did is the intro. Shadow talks. I'm cutting out. Pointless team. No, you're not. This, this is perfect. Why are you telling me what I'm putting on my intro? <laughs> this anyways, is, anyways is, hi, we're there. hey, hey, mm, good evening, I good night. So. We were talking about safe words, right? Yes. All right. This is basically the continuation, as he said, of that last episode while y'all had me um, drinking in People Studio. We are I'm at Kingdom up. Studio FTL again, you know, doing it big. Ow. Doing, doing it and doing it and doing it around. Doing it. We got biz in the back, you know what I mean? Doing this thing. I know, I messed it up. Okay. I'm doing it well. So, for the two of you, should there be rules in the bedroom? Do y'all believe in safe words, etc.? My safe words get the fuck off of me. Really? Does that work? Yeah. Okay. If I'm kicking Shit, it should. or oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe might be kind of a turn on depending uh, on what uh, you're uh, Baby, we can get up. <laughs> get the fuck off. Okay. So do you believe in safe words? Uh, so, um, what's your name? <laughs> Film God. God. JB in Sutherland. Mm. <clears throat> um... I never, I never had an encounter Jesus. with using a safe word. So that's a no. No. Do you believe that there should be rules in the bedroom? Rules? Yeah. But if you're in a relationship with someone, like, let's say you're in like a, like y'all hard down, like this is a relationship relationship, See, not just somebody you smash it. I not think just it a, would be the other way around for me. Rules with the person I'm smashing. If I'm in a committed relationship, it shouldn't fucking matter. I agree with that. No. There is rules, and rules is okay. Get the fuck off of me. What kind of rules are you talking about? Depends on the person. Or not rules, but certain things that they like and don't like. Like, I'm a type of person that I don't like my nipples licked. (laughs) So, if that's a rule, then I guess that's a rule. But I don't find it not even... Don't put your tongue near my nipple. Yeah, it's not even a little bit pleasing. So, don't feel like, oh, I'm just being 
whatever. Like, no, it don't feel good. It's like tickling. Don't tickle me. Not because I'm laughing. It doesn't mean it feels good. <laughs> no, it does not. Okay, question. You mean like finger to skin tickling or you mean like feather tickling? Not tickle me. <laughs> okay, you ain't Elmo. Got it. All right. <laughs> so, Shadow, if you're in a relationship, like, that's boo or whatever, ain't no rules. But if it's just a fuck thing, there's As rules. long as it, if I tell you I can't breathe, that means you need to loosen up around my neck. Still talk to me, just loosen up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Other than that, there's no rules in a committed relationship. If it's somebody I'm just fucking, there's rules because you have restrictions. Okay. You yeah, see, I'm extreme. What about you? What is your opinion? Do you feel like you there should be rules? I agreed with her as far as, you know, if I'm in a relationship with you, there's like next hey, to no rules. I just personally feel like I'm saving the butthole for marriage. So <laughs> unless we are married, you're not putting your... No penetration. So that's a rule. Well, you're, you're penile... You, I'm not having no penis to butt sex. Like, that's a rule. That's a stipulation. That's yeah. A, but I'm saying if I'm married now, I mean shit. All bets are off. If you want to put it in a booty, we gonna. You have to do it the right way though. You see, fellas, Lube you see up. how women work. Lube it up. What do you mean? How do Lube women work? They say, oh no, it's no rules in the bedroom. If we're but. in a committed relationship, like we're married, you can have it all. So it's when yours. you have a ring on your finger, then so, it's all bets. Are yeah, off. we married. So, like we married because I don't but, believe in divorce. Oh. So only See, in then. only in marriage, only when he puts the ring on your finger, y'all in a committed relationship. No, no I said when we're married. Sign the papers. When we're all. married, <laughs> and it doesn't have to be a legal marriage either, because I don't care about the government. But Fellas, as far as we listening. have made a commitment to each other, and so it like is a real ass commitment. Yes, but it has to be something that we both agree on. It's not he thinks I'm his wife, and I'm still like. Oh, we're I, dating. Uh, you know, we have to have a sense. mutual understanding and an agreement of what it is that we are doing, whether it's, I'm not a religious person, so I'm not even going to say under God, but, you know, something that we have established and we have agreed on and we are both respecting and honoring. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about we going to the courthouse paying $60 to sign some papers so I can change $60? my last name. However the fuck much the shit costs. I gotta pay for that. But... Yes, you do have to pay for it because it's a government contract. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, I mean, that's my I'm take on it. law married. Well, yeah. I mean, after what? How, two years or something like that? Or is I'm it seven? Seven. seven? So, how long, how long do you think you should be with a person before y'all get married? I don't think that there's an actual there's no time, time limit. Because, I mean, a lot of people, the way situations are set up nowadays, y'all end up in relationships before y'all actually realize that y'all in a relationship, depending on the how the situation. Yeah. And sometimes it's somebody you've known for a long time. Maybe somebody you just met. Y'all click, as they say. And, you Love know, think, well, I'm not going to go that far now, okay, sis. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Like, things just feel so great and y'all rolling and shit just works out. I don't feel like there's a time limit on that. I don't. I feel like I gotta live with you first before I even think about. Mm. I agree with that. I agree with that. I know how dirty you are. Do you, yeah. Do you, mm-hmm. I feel like me for the longest time, like as far as dating goes, I've always felt like I had a three month rule. Like after three months, people start showing their ass. They get comfortable. Some of the flaws and things that, well, you know. But a lot of people they hold up the facade for a little bit longer than others, and they end up, you know keeping it real for the first like well not keeping it real but keeping it funky you know then they lose all of that and then it's this is who i really am three months down the line about three weeks in don't try me well <laughs> some people are better at hiding it than so, others so wait <laughs> so what about what about sex what about sex like do you have to have sex with like uh, not marriage but do you have to have sex with a person before you get into a committed relationship like you know Depends on the person. That is a tricky question. See, because fellas, I hope y'all listening to see what women do. Don't even just Why talk about be fellas women? because women are listening to this show also, and women are having sex. Well, with I'm women. here representing for the women. Well, I mean, boys for the men. Having sex with boys women. is anybody in general, but I feel like it varies because sometimes you might just not want to have sex with the person. You might mean, not. You just want to kiss your vibe and just. Yeah, chill. like I'm a type of person. Like I like to kiss, right? And me and my best friend always had this rule: like, stop beating around the bush. We getting lit. <laughs> Y'all drunk? We getting lit? I'm not can drunk. Can you get in? Can you be in a committed relationship with a person before you had sex with them? No. At this point in my life, no. Let's get cut the shit. Exactly. Exactly. No. no. <laughs> exactly. I've done it before. Yeah, I was but younger. That exactly. was before I, you know, 
realize what I actually wanted out of sex, but so yeah, and they learning. didn't hold up to you. See, that's the thing with me. If we had sex, you don't hold up to potential. I'm not even gonna fucking try with you at all. Fuck yeah, that. but Bye. see, I'm also. It's weird for me though because I've said before, I'm an emotional person, and for me to feel comfortable to giving you thing. myself. I have to be emotionally connected to you. So I can't just fuck anybody. Like, I've done it, and I felt, like, ew afterwards, like, me personally, because I'm just, like, I don't have no kind of emotional bounds to you. I don't, like, you know, I just... I've done Because the sex was trash. And I moved No. On. Oh, the because the sex was Because No, because it's just... I didn't it feel anything. Sex. Yeah, I didn't feel anything. I feel like sex with somebody that you're emotionally connected to is so much better than just a random fuck. I can't do like just a random fuck is a nut. For that, I'll fuck myself. Like I can make myself come faster anyway. So it's kind of like, what the fuck is the point? Oh, man, it's tops. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's kind of like, if there's no emotional con- for me personally, if there's no emotional connection, like if I don't at least like yearn for you in any kind of way like it's not as good for me right like. but that's for men too mm. but that. y'all like to say a hole is a hole and it's just sex we I can, don't even like her like that we can beat our meat and go to sleep just fine we it's, can rub our it's before, and go to sleep listen just fine. it's before we come y'all get that text if y'all don't text back fast enough and I already <laughs> beat my meat I already watch XNXX why you keep advertising this? Because I'm trying to get that deal. Listen, <laughs> I might get the deal before you do. Okay. Uh, sh- shouts out to some girl I seen. She tweeted, yo, that's the best site out. But anyways, back on track. If I text you while I was horny mm-hmm. and I please myself before I went to bed and you text me, I'm not replying back. Neither am I. Maybe you, but a lot of niggas will still respond to that and still try to go get some pum pum. Shit, me, yeah. I'm going to bed. They just want well, that that's extra, you. extra. They just want the feeling the of warm vagina. The warm, the warm. Mm-hmm. Like somebody told me it was hot, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but still, warm. It's the warmth of and your moist. hand cannot keep your penis warm. Yes, it can. For Friction. how long? With what some the fuck cold are we lotion. About? That's what I'm saying. Y'all got lotion. First y'all of all, got... first of all, I think that's 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 a myth. Do you use lube? No. I don't know. No. What do you use? I use none of that. I never use none of that. Your dry that. palm? Your dry ass palm. You spit? <laughs> Get out of here with that shit. I, I don't know yeah, about no fucking lotion. Right the the fucking lotion is going to dry up. up. You about to start a whole fire in that bitch. That's what I'm saying. If you use lube, like, no, no, no. lube. No, just no, dry, dry baby out. oil. Dry hand. No. no, no, for real. Dry hand, just you just tripping. Yeah. That don't cause a fire? Like, it's not dry? Bitch, your dick don't hurt. Nope. That's like going into a dry Because like y'all said, like y'all said. Y'all know how exactly. to make yourself come fast. I know, but don't you need we some kind know. of moisture to uh, rub? The, ew. Uh, ew, see, that's, that's the, see, that's the thing. That's <laughs> See, that's the thing. Men, we need to start exposing some of this shit because women, y'all be thinking, y'all be doing so much or so much that we can't Listen, do. Listen, if you just, eh, if you making noise, like, bitch, I ain't never had this in a while, bitch, I am doing something that you are not doing. I'm letting you Say feel that, that way. No, fuck all of don't that. Don't fake it for no, me, baby. Don't fake it. Tell me all real so I know I need to go home. Didn't we have an episode about this? Who is we? We had an episode Who, about me, this. you? No, we had an episode, I think back in the day, we had an episode about, um... The people that man show? TPM? <laughs> Yeah, listen, throwback for your ass. <laughs> if I'm making you make noises, not just for me, don't lie listen, to me. Listen, listen. Because I'm going to know the difference. Men, we had an episode about this. Men, I we do not you... need to make noise. Oh, yeah, y'all did talk about yes, that on TV. I remember that mm-hmm. conversation. We don't need to make you noise. We make, make noise, noise for y'all. Okay, oh, see, but hold there's on. a difference. Because when you just like, oh, fuck, then we know, yo, you just saying it just to say it. But if you, your turtles, y'all don't know hey, shit. Then you in a bitch hey, ass noise. Uh, just, uh, I know. When they make one of the That's bitch the ass noises. Baby. Don't try that shit with me. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that. Or when they're making noise and they catch themselves and stop. And just, mm. and, and then biting their lip. Bitch, I see you, nigga. I'm looking at we you. We don't make Face noise. screw up. No, no, no. Niggas make noise. Don't do we that. We talk you shit. You probably don't. They talk shit, make no. noise. We talk shit. We don't some make noise. Some niggas make some <laughs> noises. Like so I- y'all like that? Okay, first of all. It motivates me. Ho- uh, thank Fuck. you. That's one thing. See, see? Again. Hold on. No, no, no. I have control issues. Me personally, I like to be in control, okay? Even though I do play submissive sometimes, even when, like, I'm with a guy, like, I kind of do the whole sub thing or whatever, but I am 
very turned on by the fact that I can make you feel weak by whatever it is I'm doing. What so if, if I a guy see them toes curl, boy, I'm looking at nobody's eh, fucking toes. Bitch, I'm looking for all of that. I'm waiting for the jump in the pelvis. <laughs> yes, all of that. Yes. All of that. All of that. When you hang on ahead, bitch, I'm doing something right. So that don't. you see, okay, now yes, y'all, now the y'all, y'all of the abdomen, all see, of that. What y'all doing right now is mansplaining. Like how y'all say we women explain or whatever. Now y'all men. No, women. y'all men explain. That's what that's what the term so is. So it's okay. I guess so. Cause cause at the end of the day, what we do that that feel good to us. She's right. The toe curling. If we push your head away, <laughs> like yo, ho, like shit like that. Like y'all we, jump and start backing oh, up. Y'all jump. Ooh ooh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right. Ooh. ooh. What well, you that, making that sound? Fuck out of here. That. But the moaning and shit. That's for y'all. Pop your collar, sis. Pop your collar. <laughs> that's for y'all to feel good. We don't need to moan. But I'm not talking about moaning in general. I just as long as I know that I'm doing something and by reading body language, y'all do make involuntary noises though. The yeah, moaning. I don't know if I've ever been with a guy that actually likes if you saying it just ooh yeah bitch, yeah that's yeah I, I don't know how I feel about that's what I'm saying I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I've ever been with a guy that's done that though that's what I'm saying like no. the fake moaning and all that I don't know if I've ever I, don't I know. fake moaning but that's the choice of words girl word. But Listen, that's, a, that's the choice of words I think orgasms using. too. Shit. Well, I used to when I was younger I I'm do. old no that means you need to stop fucking them sis stop I, I have <laughs> oh, okay, good. Because I feel like in this day and age, when you know what you want, you shouldn't be faking it. Either you know what you're doing or get the fuck you off of me. what I say? Get the fuck off. I'm going See home. See that? Straight. Take me home. You know, don't even take me home. Just send me an Uber. <laughs> I don't even want to be in the same car. I'll walk to the corner. I'll take the Uber. What is it? The Uber Express or whatever it's called. Down the street, around the corner. You know where they just pick you up on the side of the road? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, so that's... Get as far away from you as possible. <laughs> and so, then block your number. Uh, Jesus Christ. What, what's categorized as good sex for you? If I go straight to sleep. Oh. Like straight, not even get up, just <sighs> straight sleep. Then we we'll go pee pee? Like no, just not. straight knockout. You? I wake up you. in the middle of the night. What, what, what is considered Forget. good sex for you? <laughs> Shit. I mean, I can say that, but I'm so conscious of like UTIs. <laughs> I, I have to go pee. Like, I've fallen asleep though. It's happened. I've. You know, just, just like, go to sleep. You be like, shit, I ain't yeah, pee. Yes, and yes. You get up and go yes. pee, and then you fuck around. You fall asleep on the toilet. Yes. Or go sleep. Yes. <laughs> go to bed. I definitely have fallen asleep on the toilet. It's just <laughs> like head leaning on the side of the counter. Like, you, oh, fuck. you just forgot like what the fuck you did. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Good sex for me is like when you get that outer body experience. Like, you ever had that experience where you feel like you're looking at yourself while the sex is happening? Mm-hmm. Now y'all ain't had that? Okay. But. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that far yet. Like, if my body was coming out and then he came and it was just like, oh, okay. No. I you came want too. a hug? I came too. But you were almost there. It was just almost. And it was just like, oh, Your soul together. almost got snatched. The it, fact it was... that you screamed at the same time? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, just saying. That's beautiful. You didn't answer the question, light skin records. I was waiting on you to finish. I, I, I answered. We all can't talk at the same time. We got you know. Okay. But um, I, I guess the falling asleep is the first sign of of good sex. Like you just fall asleep right away, type shit. I, I mm-hmm. think that's the first sign of it. Yeah. Right. yeah. The Everybody out of body experience too. I, I guess that's that's one of it. You knock out. Is it? Yeah. That's the. That's mm-hmm. it. That's the best one. And for a smoker, you know if you smoke right before sex and it was good, yeah, it's a it's a different feeling. It's a different sensation. Oh, uh, when I don't have good smoke. sex, I feel like cooking for that person. Oh, mm-hmm. if I feel like I want to go ahead and you know what, let's just go to breakfast and I'll pay for it. Mm. <laughs> That's when you know. Listen, you got good dick. I had a th- or vagina. I heard, oh. I heard a theory once that if she can get up to go cook after dinner after sex, then you don't deserve no, it. No, baby, she has to sleep. If she's yeah. not sleeping and she's, that means you need to go home. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot what movie that was. I think it was How to Be a Player. Something with Bill Bellamy. Well, nah, you Yo, see, she got, if she got too much energy. And, and to go a cook, white bro. girl got up and went and made him nah, a sandwich. Baby, maybe. do you want? <laughs> no, she don't know what dick is. Well, nah, it depends. It depends on the situation because Shorty could already be in the kitchen cooking, and you know what I mean. You, nah. you no, you, we're you talking go up and about try to get a little quickie, mean, no, and no, a little no, something. No, something. About dick. Yes, and she got up and made a whole fucking sandwich. She's supposed to be laid out on the bed still shivering. She's Why? a she's a Spartan warrior. The fuck fuck? Okay, no lie though. Sometimes I've had sex and I've had energy afterwards. Yeah, she fucking like I got a Spartan. Energy to fuck again. I don't got no energy to make you no fucking. Sandwich. Listen, I need ten minutes. 
Calm down, chill. I need 10 minutes. Nah. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. And they sit in the time o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need about 10 minutes. I need, I need to recover. A water break? If it was that. Well, you see, I done had sex like that where... Where I got water right next to me. Where it's you need water. You're drenched in sweat. The mm. e- the AC coming on and you still drenched in the only sweat. Thing I need water like, for is to moist my mouth so I can go ahead and suck dick. <laughs> Wait, where's the applause? <laughs> That's the only reason why is there, especially if I'm drinking and we're fucking, I need two water bottles next to me. And you know when I get up, you're like, give me a second water. All right, cool. You pr- make sure make sure you get ready. Cause bitch, if I gotta turn around and set you up, dummy, man. Oh Jesus! Excuse me. Okay. You better. You want fucking dick suck? You better get the fuck out. Oh, okay. So you're not sucking soft penis? Excuse me. I don't no. want a worm in my mouth. I Ooh. seen a meme that I'll said I'll play with it till you know you get a little bit and then start. Cause you know when you feel it harden up just a little bit. Yeah. Then you just start sucking. No, it was completely soft. It's just like a sponge. <laughs> I seen a but meme. I seen a meme that said if she if she. Gives you head while you soft. She believes in you. Yeah, no, I saw I that meme too. Like when you get like a little. If I'm touching you, like by the time you drop your pants, you should already be hard. Period. S- sis. Excuse me. Excuse sis. Me? Excuse me. If you know you, we about to fuck, I was about to say no. That you, means I feel like you ain't into me. The fuck I'm supposed to no, be. No, no. That's the cancer in you. Exactly. I came to fuck. <laughs> I came to fuck. You should be ready. You ain't do shit yet. Ready. You ain't do shit. I don't need to do nothing but drop my clothes. Nope. If you in the Okay, like that, hold on. Wait. So if you go to have sex with a girl and she's not wet, you're not gonna feel no type of way? Nope. Really? I nope. Hear. I need to put my work in. I heard oh. people feeling before. I, I need to put my work in. Oh, That's you, it. You ain't into me. You damn right I'm not, bitch. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm a dry as fuck. Pum pum wet. No, no. Oh. Mm. So you so you would you rather it be wet ahead of time or who wouldn't who wouldn't rather a fucking tsunami? Like of course you would, but I mean it, yeah, I mean, no, no. Have you ever had to use lube with a girl for vaginal sex? No. No? I, I only, I started using lube when I got older. Yeah. For and vagina that, sex? No, not for vagina sex. No. For butt for, sex? No, <laughs> not for, not for <laughs> butt sex. But you know, some girls like anal play. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's either you use your spit or your finger or a dildo. Or you know a butt plug, uh, um, princess plugs, pink princess plugs, things like that. You know what I mean? my plug. <laughs> it has, I have one that has a ruby on Good it. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Not right. So I mean, it's little. It's a starter right. plug. I don't give a fuck if it was a damn pebble. You're not sticking that. Shit I'm in bringing my some toys for the next show so we can you line should. them up and you can uh, explain what's what and see what mm, shape. I'll do the thumb and you know just just rub the outside. Mm, That's I'll it. I'll lick your finger before you do it. <laughs> wow so you use lube for the anal play yeah for for, for the for the girl yeah for the for mm-hmm. the lady you've never used lube this is on the condom other than that no see i was gonna ask if you've ever had to use lube you for see, vaginal sex see and that's the thing i i, I think um when when i used the lube mm-hmm. that time i think i did it more than once but it, it it started to get like on the condom and then it starts to get on her vagina and i didn't like the way it feels like i don't like that feeling oh that slippery feeling? like i don't know no, i like no. the i want her juices i want to feel her Not like that, the that fornicate, that, that, that fabricated shit. that yeah. Nah. Like that, is, that is not pussy juice. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. They make like super expensive lube that almost feels like vagina juice. Oh, like, no, no, no. Almost. I want the whole thing. Well, me personally, I like sex stores, like adult stores. I believe it. So I remember I went into one and they ha- they were promoting Uber Lube when it first came out. And literally, Uber- they, yeah, it's called Uber Lube. Don't ask me. But. Uber I think now? no. I think it was before like the whole Uber craze though. Was, right. Listen, I've been going to sex stores for for years, so I was looking it up. I was like, you know, they had a little sample, so I dripped a little bit on my finger, and I'm literally walking around the whole store like rubbing, rubbing, rubbing because you know after I don't know if you guys are familiar, after a while it goes dry or it starts feeling sticky. Like a vagina. Well. No, like, ew, like, it'll start, like, crumbling. Yeah, the, That's what the I'm lube. saying. Like, But it's... no, listen, 
this lube though, I'm rubbing my finger, literally constant motion as I'm walking around the whole store. Now mind you, this is a big store. They have like upstairs, downstairs, they have a bridal section, they have a butt play a section. section. Yeah, for like, you know, when you get married, you have a Facts. bridal shower and stuff. Word. I love it. Listen, I like the big sex. I don't like a little hole in a wall rinky ding shit. I like like hustler and like, you know, spice of life. Like you a veteran. I yes, I know what I like. They have games. They have porn. They have a sex room where you can preview stuff. Like you got a, yeah. you got a, um, you got a, a, a coupon card, a discount card. I need to. <laughs> they had one though. I had a few, and they were giving out, um, what is it, free lunches for Cheetah. Because I need to go ahead and go in that store, but I don't. We like, can go. I'll take okay, you. Cool. But you know they have like a section for like dildos, and they have the butt play stuff, and they have the male adhesive and extension stuff. Got, like, Anyways, so, so, sorry to robot. cut you off, but um, you got the robots in there. What does your shirt say? My shirt says recruiter in rainbow letters. She's recruiting all lesbians and um anybody of the LGBTQIA there community. There you go. IA, what does the IA stand for? I, I is intersex. It. A could be either Inter- A. Intersex. Can you elaborate oh, for a person that hasn't please because I don't a, know. A this person is. like whom? Like us that is not that um, educated in <laughs> these things. So the the, okay, we can come back to that. Go ahead, finish your story. Okay, Sorry, so I was just you, you wanna, I'm, I'm gonna read you the, the Google definition. Okay, okay. intersex definition. people are born with any of several variations in sex characteristics, including chromosomes, gonads, sex hormones, or genitals that, according to the UN Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, do not fit the typical definition of male or female bodies. In my terms, whatever you're born as, you don't necessarily identify as one specific gender. Right. Okay? Kind of like non-binary. Say transracial. Race, ra- ra- um, <laughs> like, like, a, like, race, racial. No, it's not transgender because transgender they feel like they are born in the opposite gender. Uh, Intersex means that you don't feel like you identify with either or either specifically. Or. I'm a yes, person. yes, exactly. Some just there. Yeah. Human being. Mm-hmm. And asexual you. is kind of like you're without, and then there's also asexual or ally, which means that you're a straight person who is just you know here for the people and the so cause. Do you, do, so so can y'all see how we can be confused by all of this, and we're trying um, to understand? You can be, but you can also just mind your business and accept people for who they say they are. No, no, we can do that, but we can't mind our business. We Why shouldn't. Not? We shouldn't. We not? shouldn't because we li- we're living in a um a generation where we're raising uh kids. To how how can I word this? We're raising to be kids. open and just love and not hate. Power <sighs> right, to the people. No, I'm with you. But I'm just trying to word it so my Caribbean my no no my my Caribbean He's people could be down. with us a little bit. So okay, and when we were growing up, right, it wasn't so open to be gay, mm-hmm. right? Because we grew up Caribbean, and yeah. I think even in America too, but it was more accepted here, but. Caribbean people is very difficult. Mm-hmm. Um, I think people that is allies, like you said, should be educated because you're raising kids that is in this generation. Everyone where it's, should be an ally. Wait, hold on. That is so open. You're mm-hmm. in a generation now where it's so open. So your kid is going to probably come home one day and ask you, Daddy, what is that? Or Mommy, what is that? Or what's going on? Uh-huh. So you, I feel like you should be educated to speak to them and tell them what is going on. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? Because if, mm-hmm. if they asked me that question, I wouldn't know. Okay. That's my point. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If my daughter came and asked me, what is the Q and the I and the this? I don't know. Okay. And I would rather ask, I would rather her know from me than to go to someone else and try to get the answer. That's what I'm trying to say. That makes sense. That's why I took my time to explain it. Sorry. Continue. Okay. Back to pointless. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I was just talking about lube. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> just talking Back about to the, the lube. lube. So, sorry. sorry. But Back no, to the lube. I would but, never use lube. I'm sorry. Well, you never say never, okay? Cause okay I don't when, plan on it anytime soon. Well, I'm going to say something that we don't want to hear, but you know, when women get older, if you plan on having sex past the age of 45... I'm going to have sex with the rest of my life. Vaginal dryness... <laughs> <laughs> vaginal dryness is a very definite possibility. And it's something that happens naturally, just like how they say, you know, when women turn 30 plus, their metabolism slows down and things mm-hmm. of that nature. It's harder for them to lose weight. Well, when we get older, as far as our eggs goes, you know, we can't have babies past a certain age or healthy babies, I should say. And then along with that, because women just got the shitty end of the fucking stick, we end up, you know, pum pum just dry up. So lube comes in handy. Our Funny dicks enough, don't get hard. When we get old. Some of y'all just fuck too much, so that's why I just wear out a little bit. But a lot of y'all can still get it up in very old ages. Stop it, men. 
I hope y'all <laughs> see what's going on here. You see how they shaming us? Because they said it doesn't matter how much times a woman had sex, the, the shape and the size of her vagina and her hole doesn't matter. So now they're saying... It doesn't change. It doesn't change. So now you're saying because men, we have a lot of sex, our dicks don't get hard. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Somebody been drinking. Like a bit of and put the night Nah, it ain't, it ain't but, enough. Um, that was a joke. I don't know why erectile dysfunction happens. Mm. However, erectile dysfunction happens at a young age for a lot of men. It's telling y'all to stop fucking. But even still, though, it's not sex. I'm talking about specifically as far as age goes for oh, okay. women. We do end up experiencing vaginal dryness. Also, some birth control does affect the wetness of the Stay vagina. Stay away from IUDs. Well, you can't say that because different people have different reactions. I ain't never used one again. Listen, I was on birth control for a while and I realized that, well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. I thought that it was giving me vaginal dryness. Realized it was the person I was with. But. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the shade. You I'm made just, her dry. I'm just saying different strokes for different folks, different folks, literally. But if you ever do need to use lube, look into them, especially if you're using toys. Because I know we've been talking about a lot of heterosexual shit. I know all my gay followers, I'm like, I don't want to hear this. But we we'll love you just to see him. If exactly. If you are using toys and stuff, make sure you're using like the right kind of lube based on the type of toy you're using. Because if you're using silicone, if you're using plastic, etc., you might want to use water-based lube or, you know... Things of that nature, because there are different kinds of lube. So that's just something. Some of y'all might want to try warming lube, you know, because cold lube on your ass crack or wherever you're putting it that? might ruin the mood. I don't want to feel none of that shit, man. Mine's well, so cold. it's not just for you, okay? Different people need different things, because, yeah, life and such. Life if and if the girl, to me, I'm just, I'm, well, to me. Well, think about it. The show is catering to boys on boys also. I don't know if the butt lubes up enough for the penis to enter it well, so I, they I, might need I, I, for I'm that. saying my my experience i feel like if you're having sex with a girl for a while you're having you're mm-hmm. you're in the course of sex she was wet before mm-hmm. she started getting dry because y'all had sex mm-hmm. for a while stop and give her head like get her back in the mood like do different things like stop for a minute reset please please reset. please, please. Reset. you know reset some women don't like oral sex i know yes yes I love it. I personally feel like, this is my ignorant opinion, a lot of women who don't like oral sex just ain't have it done right. Exactly. That's I said me that too. personally. Teach them how to eat her vagina. Sadly, most of the women who I've heard say they don't like oral sex have been Caribbean women dealing with Caribbean men. men yeah. They don't know how to eat, well, my... And, my yeah, don't, don't you dare because... The hmm. ones that don't eat vagina, seriously. Who? Don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, we we're not gonna go there right now because you you about to give me a headache. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so I've noticed that you know, and I feel like a lot of the times it's because I think some men give oral sex just to get it wet, not because they specifically like to give oral sex, not because you know they enjoy cunnilingus and yam and pom pom. No, or they just want to make sure she's call it. wet down there. So exactly. So they just do literally the bare minimum, and she's like, "Oh, that was trash. I don't like head." Or no. it's uncomfortable or whatever because they're not, you know. Don't do it if you don't enjoy it. And I'm telling that to the women, too, that is giving head you to guys or to and girls. To women. So don't just give. going to ruin the mood. Yeah. Like, I'm just gonna be out some of y'all just want to strap all day and don't want to yam it. But, you know. some. See, if I get bad head and then you're trying to have sex, I'm going to lay there. I'm not gonna participate in anything that you're doing. But a lot of women, okay. a lot of women, y'all do that though. Y'all give dudes head for like a good two minutes, and y'all feel like that's it. Like that is somebody that just don't know how to something. I'm not even talking about the length of time. I'm talking about what is done within the time frame that you're doing it. You just... Oh, okay. Yeah, Somebody's passionate about this one. I'm not passionate. I'm just no, saying, not you. Oh, this one kissing his teeth so hard in the damn mic. <laughs> the, the first two minutes. You should be just petting it at that moment, just you know what I mean, kissing it, like just, just you know what I mean, getting warmed up. Neck. You know what I'm saying? You just you getting warmed up, shorty. Like that's it. Like what you mean? Oh my god! You're like, making this four, 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 four minutes, five minutes. Like, <laughs> There's somebody about to lose his mind. You know what I'm saying, Biz? What you mean, Biz? You get they getting warmed up. 
chill. Like, it'll be like they they just start kissing it for like two minutes. Like, put it in, put it in, put it in. But no, I'm not putting it in. Maybe she just wants to dick that bad. No. Really? <laughs> Maybe oh he's not God. giving you shit. So wait, are you one of those you have to get head before you have sex? No, nah, not all the time. Sometimes I just want to just like let me put it in, and then I'll take it out and let you give me head. But because I like that too, because I'm nasty. Have you ever been with a woman who won't suck your dick after you put it in her? That's a problem. Nah. No. No? You've never had a girl, or if you give her a head, she won't kiss you after? No. Nah. No? No. I with niggas like that. No. Bitch, you don't really? Me. Like, just because you had his... Like, kid, it's your dick. I never... But, you see, I never... I couldn't... <sighs> see, no. If I have... If you tell me that not to kiss you after, I feel like there's a problem. So right. I'm just gonna stop fucking you. Agreed. I, right in this moment in time, while your penis is out, I'm done. Because what is the time frame? I don't have that much of a time frame... For you to even say no or like, as soon as I'm done, I'm getting up and I'm probably going to kiss you. So as soon as you move, like Shay said, I'm like, whoa, all right, what's going on here? Like, <laughs> you won't, bitch, don't you ever call me again. <laughs> go get you, go get a test, go get tested. I'm, I'm going getting I'm tested. Going fuck to get her. Tested. <laughs> like, the I'm fuck? going right now. Fuck it. I know the office is going to close till 5 30. <laughs> don't worry with me. 7 o'clock on Wednesdays if you're going to the one in Oakland. Exactly. But have you ever told a girl you're not kissing her after she gives you head? No. So, so you're okay with that? Yeah. Even if you come in her mouth? I'm not okay with that. Bitch, go wash out your mouth. Yeah. I mean, if you still have it like on Speak. your lip type thing. <laughs> Speak. Like, wait, 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 wait. Speak. See, no, that's different. Speak, thank you. That's you're different. Thank you. Coming from now, the women's if mouth. If you come in my mouth, uh huh. if it's not like, because I know like, you know, it doesn't always all go in your mouth. So it might be on your lip type thing. I mean, just go wash your mouth out a little bit. Just a little bit. Listerine, you don't might not have to do Listerine, whatever. Just wash out your mouth. Make sure you spit it out or swallow it, whichever one you choose. Get it all out. I don't think he wants to kiss his own kids. Okay, so wait, hold on. It's different. So you're saying either he washes out or swallow, or you have to swallow it all. No, I'm saying and... if the woman, if, if she prefers to swallow or spit out, it's her choice. Mm hmm. But after that, after the semen is out of her mouth, oh, she yeah, needs yeah. to go rinse it before she kisses she him. She swallow it because it might still be on your lip. You don't know. Some bitches don't be checking their whole face and it be all in their fucking hair and on the side of their face. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hallelujah. Up, Hallelujah. Okay, so I have a question. Hallelujah. What is the difference between a man coming in your mouth and you kissing him afterwards and you coming in his mouth and him kissing you afterwards? It's a different type of semen. Really? He has that's, kids in his balls. That's what the difference is because of what the semen is made of? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. I don't know. Exactly. I, don't know. I can't answer that. It's funny. She said all the things a man would say. We don't know. It's don't just know. So you just, like I've had, I've just had vagina juices in my mouth and I've had men's semen in my mouth. It's two different tastes. Like two different. Mm-hmm. No matter how much a man wants to go ahead and eat pineapples, eat drink cranberry juice, whatever the case may be, it still has a little bitter taste to it. Still has a little bitter taste to it. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes from women, first of all, if I put my face down there, it don't taste right. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. So I don't even want to know what's coming. And out. I don't want it to smell super fruity either. No. No, you're hiding something. Maybe you don't you're talking it. about the external additives. You're not talking about things that they've consumed. You're talking about like if they put on like. The lotions and the sprays yes. and shit. That's what you talking about. No, we're talking about what you put no, into I, your body. Yeah, yeah, heard, like yeah. when she's coming and, you know, just, it doesn't just, like, you know, sometimes it doesn't really have a taste. It's just there. Like water. Like, I'm saying. <laughs> it's like water with a little. It's a yeah. Little. It lo- <laughs> <laughs> now, if you got a little, if you got too much. <laughs> you need to, like, you need to go, take a, you need to go take a shower. And yeah. um, drink some water. Some cranberry juice, Steam like we it. said. I don't give a shit. Steam it. <laughs> Do something different. Yeah. Okay. But it's it's different when it comes to I don't know. Men semen is a little bit too little raw for me. Hmm. Than a woman's. I have juices. a question. The, the men semen's <laughs> that, that you've experienced. <laughs> what are these men's diets made up of? They eat a lot of fast food, a little home cooked um, food. Let's, we're we're gonna go down the timeline. Oh Jesus! Of everything I've been, like. Most of the, you know, it just in general, the average. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a mixture of both, because most of the people I, I've dealt with, 
are somewhat athletic and still follow those. Ah, uh, okay. Some, you know, they may have their days where they just eat mm-hmm. fast food, but you know, it's an athletic field. Okay. So they, they know how to balance. Mm. And you know, if I'm going to suck your dick, you know, you need to make sure. Y'all run? Y'all run from it? Run from what? The semen that come. Why? When, when, like. What do you mean? First of all, if you mean running, like, on my face type thing. Yeah. I, there's nothing to run from in my opinion because anybody who knows me if that is happening you're not coming on my face (laughs) point blank no no stop point blank fucking period you are not coming anywhere above my chin like you carry the fuck on am i watching that i've had it done to me to the point where like i didn't have a chance to move (laughs) yeah we're never having sex again great aim he has great aim (laughs) Haven't had a chance to move where they just get up and... So can I make a full over. circle back to the front of the, the beginning of this podcast? Oh, yeah. You can go right back there. Because I feel where like... Where you said rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is a rule. So you do have rules. Yeah. Okay, then. We we can go right back next there. Topic. No, no, that's, next <laughs> that's topic. That's what you wanted that's to get to? Right. You just wanted I'm to just go just there. Let you know that you got rules. Yeah, of course. Right. You know. I'm there's some people who don't, though. Next topic. You know, I'm, I'm not, not married, so who knows what married. happens after I get married? Maybe he can do it. Jesus Christ. Men are new. But um, I know that right now I'm very vain, and my face is, you know. I just be quick to go. Mm-hmm. If it happened, bitch, I'm just about to. I heard it was I good might at cry. me. I don't give a fuck. My I'm skin not... is fucking beautiful, First bitch. All, what? See, that's my problem. With, <laughs> that's my problem with that. Because you think that you're going to nut on a bitch face and she's supposed to rub it into a skin. The fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? You use proactive. You don't know no, no, what the I, hell is listen, in that. First of all, kind of toxins. I don't know what's in your ball sack. Biz, I don't look know up, what you, look up all the crazy shit that's in proactive nah, all right that. now. First of all, I don't trust proactive all because the it acids. bleaches your skin. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done it when I was a kid. See, me personally. See, this is natural. Y'all no, can't no, no, use none of them. This is natural. It depends on the people that what they consume on a daily you popping mollies that ain't natural. At all. You can taste that molly. <laughs> you, <laughs> should, you should be checking yourself if you're messing with a dude that's on molly and is damn. Personally, thank you. Let me, where's some wood so I can knock on? Um, <laughs> in all my years, I've never had a, well, they can hear it. They're supposed to hear me knocking on the wood. Mm-hmm. I have never had an issue with acne, so you're not telling me that you your semen is going to make my skin clear. Any clear, I'm going to be translucent. No, not with all You got a little that, pimple, not- right? I'm Not stressed. I've been eating a lot of sugar. Hey. I'm going to drink some water and it's going to be right back where Tell it's supposed to be. Tell Try it again. again. You're not... No, I'm not rubbing that shit into my skin. No. You can kiss my ass. No. 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 You, if you do it, I'm getting... I'm washing my face. Listen, I use Yardley Bar Soap. Oatmeal. That is as far <laughs> as it goes. Maybe, you know, soap and water. At, soap mm, and water. Wash drink it. lots of water. That's it. Water Guys, just follow the rules. If they don't want you to do it, just don't do it, okay? you get stabbed. I feel All like, right. though... No, I feel like... Situations like that where guys do things that you're not okay with, it's based on their level of respect for you as True. a woman. True. Because I personally have never had an issue with any guy like trying to push that agenda with me. Like, you know, mm-hmm. oh, let me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've dealt with guys who have been into that. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I'm not down for that. And I've never had anyone like try to, you know, coerce me or anything. Because I'm like, no. Nigga, what? We can just not fuck. Like, we can just not do it. <laughs> I'm not going to die. I can go to sleep. Yeah, I mean, you <laughs> can leave. Oh. You can go back to business. You can leave. I have you can another have angle. Day. What's the other angle? The sexist. What is sexist? Oh, so, so. Because I can let a girl come in my face? Yes. yes. Ah! Well, everybody knows I love pum pum, so I mean. You know, you eat vagina yeah. more than you suck dick. That is sexist. You want to know what my issue is? Let me get out my soapbox to for y'all tonight. Right? This is my issue. This is my issue. Who fucked up sucking dick for you? Nobody. (laughs) But my thing is, I feel like women, and the type of women that I like, black women, Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Mm. No, 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 no. no. Mm. I can't let you get away with this. Mm. I can't let you get away with Mm. this. Can we circle back real quick? Come circle back. Can we circle back real quick? (laughs) So. Woo, Shay, what up? Popcorn, give me a popcorn play before I do it because I feel like this one is good. This one is popcorn. Play. Um, so mm-hmm. what is the difference between a guy's cum on your face and a woman's cum on your she face? She already answered that question. No, no, we wanted from pointless. The texture is gross. First of all, it feels all thick and ugh, nasty. And see, she's gagging and she likes to suck dick. So you know what I'm saying? You don't like to Have suck you dick. Ever like if you ever she, suck, okay. listen, if you ever suck dick and. If they come in your mouth, spit it into a water bottle, and you see what it turns into. 
it looks you, like a like listen, a like a slime ball, bro. <laughs> you put it in like listerine in your mouth, and then like separates the particles, it's and it disgusting. gets like hard. Okay, there's so many things wrong with that. Like, no, that's gross. That's gross. That's, that's gross. It's Honestly, science. It's gross. It is science, <laughs> and I'm not a fucking chem lab. That's gross. My mouth is not a chem lab. Yeah. Bro. Oh, did you ever hear about that girl? How they were like doing swabs in biology or some shit like that, or chemistry, and like the teacher discovered that she just sl- sucked the penis. And, oh, that's great. Yeah. Because they were doing, like, they swabbed it, and they were looking through it in the microscope or whatever, and they saw, like, sperm swimming around. Not to oh. bumble cla- awesome. Yo, did she I get, like... Her. I don't know if that's real, but... It's she just needs a Nobel Peace Prize. Bro, she just swabbed her mouth class. and... Fa- yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's amazing. She's getting some head, you know, giving some head before class. The she's teacher am- was like, amazing. oh, my God. You know, I mean, you're in Had college. Be, whatever. Oh, should appreciate college. girls. Yeah. Yeah. like, high school type shit. Nah, it was a college thing, yeah. They call her mama. Well, probably. Your daughter's but, out here sucking dick in school. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. She probably just saved a life. Oh my what goodness. You know, I'm like, forget about that. <laughs> Go ahead. Y'all somebody. need help. <laughs> so, anyways, back to this, right? Like she said about the tartness and the the, the flavor of the difference that between male ejaculate and woman ejaculate. Mm. It it's a very distinct difference. You might not know because you've never had mail come in your mouth. Nope. But it is a very. Nope. I, I am proud. I am proud. I am. Pr- I am an ally, but I am proud to say I haven't had that. Yes. Yes. But you know what I'm saying. You that know, there's some man. people like Little Kim who had to get her stomach pumped because she was swallowing so That's much cum. Who? I know, but still, Little Kim. It was a long. It's an old myth. It's Little Kim out here sucking mad dick. It was a she joke. She can I don't make know. a sprite can disappear in her, her mouth. mouth. Yeah. What? Lyrics. You never. You young. You never heard that. Okay, but yeah, so... Yeah, she's your baby. <laughs> I am but baby. I'm going to listen to this. I'm that's gonna look it up. one of the things, though. Like, it's the texture is different. The smell is different. The taste is different. Like, it's so many differences. You and know when they just... It, when it comes, it just... Spits <laughs> <laughs> out. Yeah. It's you know what I'm saying? Girls, when they come, it's that. like... It, it like... It flies. Oozes. It's like it you know, out. like a volcano when it, it just oozes. It's like the yeah, it's just like rolling down. So you would you let a girl it. squirt in your in, in your face? I have a very funny story about this. <laughs> Say yes or no, and then tell me the story. No. Okay, tell me the story. Because I'm a child, right? I'm a very immature oh person. My God. Maybe one day when I grow up, you know, if I'm in a relationship with a woman and she squirts, I might not laugh and jump out the way and be like, "Bitch, you pissed on me," <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm very immature. And that's the thing about me. Like, if we're in a relationship, you got to be able to handle the fact that I'm a child. Like, I am, I'm two years old. <laughs> but there is, there is a thought that, you know, squirt includes P. pee. I don't know. I've never actually looked it up because I'm be real upset because that means somebody pissed on me. I am going to look But up. I'm not into golden showers, so I don't want to know for sure. in this bitch. Yeah, ignorance is bliss on Would this Would you give half. one? Give what? A golden shower? Yeah. You pay me. In under certain guidelines, I'm not pissing on nobody's face. Cause if I can pee on your face, I've, I'm losing respect for you. Cause I feel like I'm a dog marking his territory, and you're my bitch now. Um, like first of all, I'm just gonna pee on you and go about my business. No, for real. Like pay somebody, me. somebody said that I could pee on them, and I was I was down to do it because that wasn't my nigga. It was somebody else's nigga, and I was about to be like, bitch, I pissed on your nigga. Like, but every time you kiss him, you're smelling my piss, ho. <laughs> So it was one of those type of things. Like I'd have been like, sure, I'll pee on you, but you know, after this, I'm like literally like, dead ass. Bro, you can't talk to me. No, I wasn't even gonna tell him that. It was just gonna be I pissed on you. All right, well I gotta go. My mom drip, is calling drip. me. And- Not even that, um, baby, sit on. Let me piss on your face. All right, I'm going. Go yeah, I'm business. I'm calling my own Uber. Like you even got a caller for me. I'm that out. is wild. Lose my. I'm changing my number. Okay. No, I'm just blocking you. I don't- but you would do it though. Yeah. I would do it if you pay me. I told you, I kind of have a thing of control. Like, you know, I like being in control. You know, if being I a bit dominant. Like, dominant. If, if you're into mm-hmm. me and I know I don't really like you, like you disgust me, I would. But other than that, you got to pay me. Are Sorry. you peeing on people like skin records? Me? Yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm not into that. No, you wouldn't pee on anybody. Nah. Ain't like, nobody in this world that you want to just piss on. Nah. <laughs> nah. Like, you ain't going to Ooh, shower. did it on them. Nah. <laughs> No, no. Not what is it. your take on golden showers? They need hey, if, if that's what you into, that's what you into. Would you let someone pee on you? No. Then <laughs> and so no. that yeah, was the <laughs> Not no. even a thought. No, no, so no peeing. So what if the person you're in a relationship with, like, love you down, you love this person, like, forever, mm-hmm. babe, and they just say one day, you know, let's try something different. Can I pee on your no. leg in the shower? Wait, wait, this relationship no? is over. I can't the pee on your toe. on my leg in Your the big sh- toe. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> 
Like you said, oh, men, y'all squirt out. Don't y'all pissed squirt out? I don't know. I don't I don't have it. I'm just saying. I mean, if she, like, pushing hard as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but she got to be saying, with her legs open, pushing hard as fuck, that, for that shit to be spreading. I done yeah. been, I done been, a, <clears throat> I done been in a relationship where the girl's in the sh- um, bathroom and you hear her peeing. She and it's like, <laughs> Yeah, she, she was pro- like, probably forcing it out. She yeah, probably had been holding it for a while. All that bitch out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's a lot of pressure on, on that leg? urinary tract. On your leg? Oh, my leg. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? No. <laughs> I wish a nigga would. Get out the fucking shower. My Get leg. Get out the fucking shower, because I'm going to be pissed as fuck. You're pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I'm going to be mad. Like, you just... Pun just intended? Pissed. Oh, my foot, Bitch. I heard it feels good. You know, it's I warm. Don't give the fuck hell. Y'all like warm? Listen, the only warmth I like is when my vagina is warm. I was and about to I say that. And when I'm taking a warm shower, I don't need the extra warmness. It's gonna fit. It's two different type of warms. <laughs> two different. You know when somebody peeing on you. <laughs> the fuck? I know this is a. I know this is left, but I hate the fact that uh, hot showers is bad for you. It oh is. my god, man! Well, y'all can keep that. I love a hot. As Only when I'm sick or take cold showers. See, there's this myth that all women love scalding hot showers. I am a grown ass man I in that case because I don't know about scalding. I don't know about that. I I would die. Maybe it's because I'm so Jamaican. I like my showers like <laughs> lukewarm. Like seriously, I don't like hot showers. Mm-hmm. Not it does. It can't be cold though. Like, I'd be no, playing, no, I, you know, yeah. any mini mini mo with the shit. But like lukewarm though, like kind of on the cooler side of warm. That's how I like yeah, my showers. Nice. Lately, I've been First trying all, to do that. Maybe. That's how my skin looks so pretty, you know. Cause my skin firm up with the cold water, it hold up the tightness, no, you know. The hot water that. making the skin loosen up and look all. Oh, just try to tell her no. Oh, mm. oh, I feel the shade. Yeah, cool, but just I say, so I want to look all of that on the time. I want to love to take the hot shower them. No, come on, fire and get hot shower yeah, and then yeah, turn on. Yeah, that me I say, you know, I still yeah. have left pipe a yard. Left mm. pipe never work. I just want something you turn and the water mm. come on. You have no cold and hot. You, you might uh, not even style. have a left and a right. You just <laughs> have one. I just have one. You have the, the one for turn it up and top of it. Not even that. Sometimes it just come out a little hole. Not even mm-hmm. a little shower head. I'm gonna go on pop style. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's just the you know <laughs> the water hose and get a bucket. Straight, hey, those listen, those be the best though. Listen, the best. Especially when twelve o'clock and the sun I beat on the pipe. What? what? The party best lit, the party lit. <laughs> those are the best. You step out feeling like oh my Chris, gosh. Chris, you know like a breeze blow you on you and the skin no tight. No? What? Let, let, let's I'm not let's not start naked. talking about We're Jamaica before home. I start <laughs> reminiscing. And oh, oh my Jesus. god, what's what's next on your docket? I know we didn't well, talk about nothing. We didn't talk about nothing. But this was one had a question. That um you you never write it down. <laughs> All right. How about nudes? <laughs> How do you feel about sending and receiving nudes? Oh, I'm down to send nudes. I'm you send nudes? Send, yeah, you be sending dick pics? I'll send a dick pic. <gasps> Are you sending unsolicited dick pics? Nah. No? So nah. she gotta ask for the dick pic? Uh, yeah. 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 And no, it. because she's not going to necessarily just say it like that. Yo, let me get a dick Let pic, me bro. see your dick. Yeah, she's not going to necessarily say it like that. She'll probably send you something, then you'll send her something. So when she sends you something, she... that's, a, that's a trigger. You need to send me something now. Right, exactly. <laughs> Are you asking for nudes? N- not not now. Because I'm, 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 I'm not now. What, no. not now? Not now? Time, what, like, what does that mean? Not in this chapter of my life. Oh, uh, like, okay. I'm yeah, about to say. No. What, what is this chapter of your life? It's because like I'm, I'm time. What? <laughs> we think same old men know. That's Just what I'm saying. Know. I'm older now, so it's like so when you were young, news you don't intrigue news. me. Like yeah. What do you mean news don't intrigue you? What's the difference? I'm just saying it's like porn. You got older. I know, no, right? No, that's not porn. I'm not into photos. When I go to a porn site, I'm not looking up like the oh, gallery. So you make it like a six, I'm six, not looking six, at the six, gallery. Six, Listen, what is the option? I'm going to straight to facial compilations. Oh my uh, God. Fucking ebony beauty. I would beauty, never jerky want to go the ass. His fucking porn to search. Fuck, uh, I FFM. Lose. Oh my God. Female, female, male. Uh, shit like that. The fuck? That's a category Black. she like. I can't even. All I type is ebony lesbian porn. That's yeah, all that's, I type. That's all I watch too. The I don't fuck? watch. I don't, time for that other I don't like straight sex. I don't like. I can't. I, I, I can't see a man sex. fuck another woman. Like, especially the way I'm porn. This is. And weird. on top of that, I don't like seeing dildos in the lesbian sex. No. Like, I'd rather just, I, nem, I just do, name I it. I close out the whole video. I think it's funny I close out the whole when video. they start scissorsing. And I'm just like, y'all in this cliche shit. Because 
Have you ever done that? You, you ever yeah, tried I really, trimming? I was really drunk, so I don't remember. What does that um, do? Aren't you supposed to like try to rub on the clip? Yeah. It doesn't do anything? I feel like I'd, I've never done it. I feel like my thighs are too big, and I I don't fuck skinny bitches. How you going to judge the people? Then? I'm not judging them. I'm just saying a lot of people who are heterosexual mm-hmm. feel like that's all LeBron. Be like that guy. That That's what lesbians do when they have sex. And, you know, I know a lot of lesbians who've never tripped, and I'm like... I personally have not because I date thick bitches and, you know, yeah, thighs. Really and you're it demanding don't, don't and work. that's not something that I feel like you'll probably be No, into. no, no. I just haven't done it. I'm, I'm down for that. Let's I rub pum pums. I feel like, like why for not? thick women, it's just a little harder to position yourself. Yeah. Because I've been with a thick girl and, it just, you know, just fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And like, then it's hot and your thighs just hot and then the pum pum like, hot and it's right, a lot of hot. You know what? We just going to get up and I'm just eating pussy. <laughs> I feel like somebody going to have to be almost upside down kind. Kinda. I've done it with the. I was really drunk, but I remember her on top of me. But it was a skinny girl. I just want uh, y'all to know, y'all been on a hundred this whole episode. I just want you to... not really. in a good way. In a good way. In a good it, way. It is what it is. It was just, <laughs> but it's just hot take after hot take. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm trying to remember. All I see is her just. Yeah, I've never. Me. I've never. No. I've, I've always I wondered what it would feel like. Though. I feel like it would probably be a good well, feeling. Well, the first one, I don't know. But I just remember her saying, yo, I'm wet as fuck. That's all I remember. Um, But after with the the thick girls, it's like, yeah, nah, this is not going to work. It's like, your leg and my leg. And you're like, this is not going to work. Because I don't even know. Pointless. Like, where is our vagina supposed to touch? Sir? I have a question for you. What is your question? Okay. It could be a question. Whispering. Wait, no. It, it's a question for... Okay, because it's like pointless, you know? She's like... Not innocent. Right. So, um, Shay, it's, it's a question for you, too. But I kind of feel like I know what you're going to say. <laughs> it's well, say damn. It. I kind of feel like I know what you're going to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm the 1%. Mm. Uh, but now, nah, sometimes you you super left with it. You know, you super left. So, right. would you... It's a two-part. It's a two-part. Okay. I don't even know which part to start. But Just it's a two-part. It. So, would you date a guy that used to mess with another guy i have answered that question because i was in that predicament so you sure you don't want pointless to go first go ahead. no 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 i'm this is interesting you done okay. built it up okay i'm so, curious now i was just like i've known him for a long time oh okay. my god so I, don't I don't even know if i wanted to ask that i, I should have asked this because this is gonna be crazy no, oh my god in my head i don't i can't say if it's 100 percent true Oh, so I'm you just, don't know for sure I, if he did. For me, personally, I think it, it's true. But I don't know if it was like, oh, if I tell her this, will she go ahead and tell other people type thing. So, um, the scenario is really crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, they were at the bus stop and someone offered them a ride. And they took the ride, but the person ended up going to their house saying that they're going to get something, blah, 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 and invited them into the house. Sitting on the bed. Now they're in the room together. Nah, nigga, you lying. That's what I'm saying. And and then you talking about you don't, like... (laughs) What? In the scenario, like, the guy gave him head and whatever the case may be, but he didn't receive. He gave. Like, he's penetrating the other guy. Uh Uh-huh. So he topped him. Yeah. And he said, like, they stayed in contact. Mm Mm-hmm. So it happened more than once. Mm Mm-hmm. So, and they was like, they asked me, does that make me gay? And I was just like... If you like men, you like men. Like I, I can't determine that for you. If you like fucking a man and you just like, but he likes he likes girls also. Yes. And you messed with him after you knew. No, 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 no. (laughs) She did not mess with him. He asked me, "Could we ever be together?" And I was like, knowing what I know, oh fuck no. Oh Jesus. Only because it's just like to me, I don't want that. Like if we're having sex, I don't want the image in my head. Because that's all I'm going to remember. I feel you. Like, But it, does it matter that he was topping the guy? Does yes, it, it matters. Does it make a difference if he was the bottom? Yes. No, not really, because I'm still not going to do anything. Okay. Because now I feel like you're not touching my asshole. Period. <laughs> I've done it once, never doing it again. You're not touching so my asshole. So you feel asshole. like since he had boy butt, he's going to want your butt? You f- get like ass. <laughs> You're not touching mine. <laughs> okay. Your thumb might. Not because they're butt. gay. That doesn't mean they like not every si- ass. <laughs> Bisexual, possibly. Yeah. Or questioning. Because I've realized, like, just looking back on everything, every girl he ever messed with is 18. Excuse me? You're 26. 
every girl he's ever messed with is in high school. So you're getting the girls that's not thinking about nothing. Mm. So he's a bisexual man, pretty much. He doesn't he, identify or himself questioning. Or He doesn't identify it. Or no, questioning. No, in my hearts of hearts, I think he still does it. Oh, okay. And tries to hide it. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I, I, I ain't so got no problem with that. he's on the down low. I ain't got yeah, no problem with that. Let him do his thing. Keep it on the down da- no. no, let, let, let no. him do his No, wait, no. wait. Hold on. We're not talking about down low yet. We're not, <laughs> not, nope, nope. We're not going that route yet. Oh, We're going to stick on yeah, you question. pointless. Okay, me personally. Don't come with this political <laughs> shit either. <laughs> It's okay. A yes or no? No, it's not. Oh. No, it's not. Don't come with because that political shit. What? I personally, mm-hmm. I'm okay if you've had if you're a bisexual. That's fine with me. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I will. Well, okay. Of course, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna know if he's in the closet. Mm-hmm. But I would prefer to not date someone who is closeted. You get what I'm saying? Like somebody who isn't open and comfortable with himself Mm -hmm. because I feel like secrets and things of that nature. Like I don't want to have any questions in my mind about what you're doing. If Hey, pointless. Yes. We don't want your Jedi tricks right now. I already answered the question off the gate. I said yes if he's bisexual. so, So I want you to elaborate on that. As much as you're about to elaborate yes, on him being bisexual, on a down low. I'm okay with him. So, if he had sex with a guy, that's his business. That's his business. Just okay. like if you had so, sex so, with another girl before me, that's your so, business. Okay, hold on. True. Wait. Calm down. Okay. And then start it again. All right. So, 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 um, so wait. So now, what if he wanted to bring another guy I in the like bedroom that much. as far as the threesome? I don't like dick that much. No, 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 no. I don't. Mm-mm. That's too much dick in one place for me. I'm sorry. I like. No. Fuck that's that. that's too much dick. That no. Yeah, that is. And no. especially if one fucks better than the other, no, because I'm, I'm not gonna fuck you. Mm. I, yeah, I don't want to hurt nobody's ego. Ooh. Would you marry him knowing? No. He he is bisexual. You can't. It's, ask and it. it's a possibility he would want that, a guy a, one day. That's a pointless question. I feel like if someone is in love, then someone is in love. I personally have an issue with monogamy as a whole because I feel like it is kind of one of those myths sometimes. So you feel like people not should every, have multiple? Not everyone is polyamorous. Not everyone is monogamous. I don't feel like monogamy works for everyone. I feel like you have to be mature in order to have a successful polyamorous relationship, mm. though. Would you? Yeah. But people don't understand that polyamory means that all three people or more are equally involved with Would each person. Would you have person. to pick the girl? No. Are equally involved with each person in the relationship. It's not me and someone are in a relationship and I have a girlfriend. Or me and someone are in a relationship and they have a boyfriend. It's not that. It's that's my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. Like, everybody is in that relationship. relationship. It's not just one person partial to another. I'm not down for that. Okay. Nah, I don't like sharing. Every, you nah, know. it's not about not like sharing. Nah, one woman is enough as far as the headache. <laughs> okay? You don't want the headache. The fuck? <laughs> you are... You know, bu- I dated someone who said that, and they were cheating on me. You are oh, bugging, <laughs> son. <laughs> With a whole other girl. Like, no, a whole cheating is different. That's oh, different. different. No, no, we were talking about whole another relationship. No, 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 no. Oh, whole another relationship. Yes, it wasn't I, you just said sex. that after. You said that. Yeah, after. he you said that after. Yeah, that whole was his wife. No, let's take that away. Let's what? met his family, had her in the hospital he needs with to him. Be shot. Okay, wait, let's put that aside first. Mm-hmm. We're gonna address that later. You're just talking about a headache. If it's just sex, that's cheating, that's just another thing. But they're entertaining a whole other relationship. That's different. That's yeah. That's, that's, that's see that I wasn't much. addressing that part of it. I was just saying three people in a relationship. Me, you Shay, mm-hmm. that's too much for me. Okay. One day you might be happy. The next day she might be sad. Okay. It's like Jesus Christ. Man. <laughs> He's like, I and know. one day what I might I be, do? I don't know. So that's three different emotions. And okay. then if you have kids, oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. No. Well, the way they look at it in most polyamory relationships, it's if one person's having a down day, we have two people to cheer us up instead of one. Shit. We have two people to have sex with. What if if both of y'all having a down day? Then, bitch, figure it out. Bitch, get the (laughs) fuck away from me till I talk to you. Mm. Can y'all have sex without the other involved? Yes. It's It's an equal relationship within 
all parties. It's not like me and you have a girlfriend. And <laughs> Shay's like, nah, I mean, yeah, with Shay that. Shay just not sharing the fuck. It's, it's, Shay's it's like, I'll do threesome, bitch, but you gotta go home after that shit. <laughs> Well, that's a threesome. That's not a polyamorous relationship. That's yeah. what I'm saying. A lot of people don't understand However what it you is. pronounce that word, <laughs> um, Shay's not doing it. Because one of y'all hoes going to die. Okay. Either the man or the woman, and most likely going to be both of the asses. Well, <laughs> nope. There you have it, folks. <laughs> I was never a fan of if the girl cheats, I'm going to do something to the guy. I'm or I'm going to call I'm him. Or I'm going to fight him. No. No, that's. I mean, that's if they no. che- they cheated and fuck that. I'm gonna no. dress you. Well, as she's the killing everyone. Cheated. She's not che- no, killing see, one that's, person. That's like if we're in a whole relationship. Nah. and you're trying to see. Okay, him. Um, he cracked know. the Da Vinci Code. You I, allowed him to. I applaud him. Good job, he sir. He allowed me to hit him with a fucking bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that's my. I can't. I can't do the the different. I'm an emotional person. I cannot. I don't like to deal with other people's emotions. Especially if they're ten times worse than mine. Mm-hmm. Cancer. We're gonna clash, mm-hmm. and I'm you're whatever comes out of my mouth. I'm not apologizing for it. So, if I can't deal with one of that, you think I'm gonna deal with both? <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> I'm gonna go to jail. No, I don't got time. Let me deal with try to deal with this person's emotion, and if I don't want you, I'll leave you. Go to the next person. Fuck that. I'll be with my damn self. I feel you. But yeah, like I said, it's not for everybody. Nope, some people not me. can't do monogamy. Because someone actually asked me the other day, like, do you believe it's possible to be in love with two people? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. So, do you not understand how polyamory would work? I ain't gonna be with them. Nah, asses. it can't work. Cause Why I'm, not? I'm, I am, I am, uh, logical. I'm, I'm, I'm what logical. does logic have to do with emotion? L- I can't. I people. think. Are you in a I business? People, are you in a business agreement? Or are you in a let relationship? You let me tell you something. I think people. I think people need to stop separating emotions and logics, right? Says the logical person, right? Yeah, that, that, no, no. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think mm-hmm. about it. Think about it. It's one and the same. No. It's no, because no. you're thinking with your emotions. You're not u- using your logics. I can be. I can be sad, son. I can be sad in my emotion, knowing like, damn, son, like, like, you know, she cheated, she fucked up, we not together, we gotta break up. <laughs> Whoa, pause. but wait, I oh. still, but wait, but I still, I, I, I love her. Hold on, I right? love her. That's my emotions. I love her. I, I can't see Hold myself on. without her. But my logic is like, I can't be with her. But not why not? Goes based why on not? Logic. Hold on, wait, no. Why can't you be with her? How is that logical? It's logic. No, because now I logical? can't trust her. Really? Yeah, to but me. She, hold on. But she's supposed to trust you if you cheat. Yeah, because I'm a man. Not I'm, I'm, I'm going to the bathroom on that because wait, this wait, is wait, fuckery. No. It's a double pause. standard. That, no, no, no. We that, have double standards that, that live in this world. Fuck all okay? That. I'm just pulling that the card. I'm just pulling the card. You a trolling ass nigga. That does not make any sense. That whole shit. That I'm just, just pulling made, a man Trump card right now. All of that. You ain't pulling that shit. With okay. You. I fuck out of here. Nope. Yes, yeah, shit. No. No, Period. No, no, no. no. Period. No. No. You gonna have problems for the rest of your fucking life. Nope. So so wait. So if a guy cheated on you, you wouldn't take him back. Depends on how bad you cheated. How bad even, is too bad? Like, to me, I feel like in every relationship, someone is bound to cheat. One way or another. Mm-hmm. And, and it doesn't have to be intercourse. It doesn't have to be... If you're chilling with a person that you're not supposed to be chilling or you're doing stuff that you're not supposed to be doing, you flirting or whatever the case may be, that's considered cheating. What if you just think about them? Like, just thinking about a person. If you're thinking about... I mean, I can't control your thoughts. Mm-hmm. But what got you to the point where you're thinking about that person? That's a good... How did this come about where you're thinking about this person? That's a good y'all question. Or y'all was hanging around too much. No. Fuck all of that. I got a different I got a different angle. How? What you was doing. What was I doing? What you wasn't doing or what you was doing or wasn't that's doing. That's what I think. That, that's the thing. And more, like I said, in most relationships, I feel like someone is about like, it's bound to cheat in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't have to be sex. Say like, that. Cause you can have like when you have people at work, they got work bays. That's mm-hmm. considered cheating. Stuck in dick in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. That's considered cheating. Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> like doing shit that you'll do with your actual partner. You're doing with other people. That is cheating. 
no if ands buts or yeah. ma- so what you okay. is, so what you so what do you feel like do you look into yourself the or, logical like, part of you is, do, do you once, look into yourself and be like damn son do you, did I do something I mean that's, that's what when, could that's I have when you done get past different the emotion part that's when you get past because mind you I feel like emotion is more powerful than logic yes it, okay it is because emotions drive people it is so but when, what, once you get past the emotion part and you're actually thinking about what's going on thinking logical then you do the self evaluation see if if, so, if there's something that I did wrong or there's something that like you look back at it and then you say like you've done everything that you could and you know you ain't do nothing wrong or you don't see the big problem on your side then you go look at then I go batshit crazy and we throw an acid LMA is the only <laughs> woman <laughs> that ever apologized for doing anything to a man in that new song tripping. Women, y'all feel like y'all don't do nothing. That's all right. Okay. I, I own up to my role. Ever, ever. First ever, and foremost, ever. I'm a cancer. Wait, one second, one second, one second. What? Think about it. Uh-huh. What song, R&B, rap, whatever, from a woman uh-huh. that ever apologized? I don't know. You listen to music more than I do. I I probably. I was I thinking like Trina show. or some shit like that. Never. Nah, Tri- apologize? Trina bashing it. Apologize. Fuck that nigga. No, she was saying, I wish I never loved you. <laughs> exactly. Fuck, you a fuck boy. We got, wish I never loved you. Mm-hmm. We I got, like, I, I hate feel, you so much right now. I could go list on feel, and on. Blue I Control. Like K. Michelle or Monica. Never. Yeah. K. Michelle would never apologize. Yeah, Those sound like that. Monica, maybe. K. Michelle would. Maybe Brandy. K. Michelle made a song. What was that song? Even though she was kind of bashing him a little bit. I'm just going to say. Apologized. She still embraced her side of what she did wrong with Idris Elba. Maka Diamond Sebonim. So. None of them. No woman <laughs> ever like apologized about. other than LMA on his new tripping song. Because we're never wrong. Back to you. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for admitting it, Pointless. Thank you. No, round of applause. Wrong, yes, round of applause for Pointless for admitting it. Thank you. Thank you. That's woman of you. Can we, can we go back to the fact that I am a. Cancer. Yes, a very emotional one. I am the most inward, lick. No, not Libra, Leo. Girl, don't do that. How dare you? No offense to the Libras listening, but no. (laughs) But um, I am probably one of the most inward looking persons. Like you'd probably come across because I am my biggest critic. Like I look at myself before you even tell me something bad about me. I've already seen it, heard it, assessed it, thought about it, try to figure out ways to fix it, change it, etc. So the whole like being emotional and being logical and all that, I'm one of those people like, I'll trip out, like off rip, I'll trip out, I'll trip out, right? But sometimes, sometimes, depending on the situation, I'll come back and I'll think about it and be like, damn, I was tripping. Or sometimes, hell, sometimes in the moment while I'm tripping, I'll be like, fuck, I'm tripping, but I got to commit. Like, <laughs> oh, I agree with that. I got to follow through with bruh, this shit. I'm bruh. snapping oh hard as God, fuck, bruh. and I'm going to continue to snap hard as fuck. I'm not apologizing <laughs> later. I know I am wrong right now, but I don't give a fuck. You hurt my fucking feelings. And you're going to feel that shit. I did this for us, biz. I did this I for us. I did this for us. Me, I got no, this out. No, I got I it out. Like cancers in itself are one of the most understanding people yes so for you especially we've known each other for a long time mm-hmm. for you to try me bro speak on it sis i am going to black out <laughs> now if it's somebody that i just met and you don't know me then yeah. it ain't gonna bother me exactly but if exactly. i known you and mm-hmm. you you try me mm-hmm. you are never going to forget me because i'm gonna fucking kill you we're, we didn't say that on the show. Pointless talks and it's few. Shadow listeners. fucking that <laughs> shit. It, it's gonna be a problem because you know me. Mm-hmm. I'm the most understanding person you ever fucking met. Do not try me. Yeah. It takes a lot for me to get pissed. Yeah, same, same. It nah. takes a lot. I and get disappointed. You know, I get you, you know. Just, you be like, yeah, you could do better, whatever. Yeah. But if you get to snapping, mm-hmm. you know you fucked up. Yeah. And once you do that, don't you ever think you come back over here talking about we friend? Fuck you. Wow. Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm I'm like that too because I want people I like to let people dig their own graves. Like I give you chance after chance after chance. I, exactly. And I'm one of those people like I'll tell you if something bothers me, right? I'll mention it again. I'll mm-hmm. mention it again. It We've had a, no, I'm maybe it's with my old age while you know I've gotten, you know, more patient with that. But like, but when I was younger though, bitch, I tell you something two times and it's not done. It's a wrap. Fuck you. Go about your business. Like I'm not about to waste my breath, right? I know you're but me. oh 
Oh yeah, all of that. Like I keep people's numbers saved. I'm not deleting nobody's number. I'm not putting nobody as do not answer. I need to know who is calling me so I can know. Oh, I'm not answering this call. Hell, I might give you a ringtone that I like so I could jam out while you calling so I don't answer your I motherfucking phone the call. I changed names to like fuck nigga or fuck boy. Nah. Don't answer all them type things. There might be too many of those. I might get confused. That's why I just won't answer them. I just put y'all with some nice ringtones that I, I can jam out like, to. I would put like like don't answer money, and if I know <laughs> I want some money, I'm gonna answer your phone call. And you see why I talk about y'all on previous episodes First about all, labeling dudes I as food. I know a dude Not me. right now that is out here got bitches paying his bills. And for a man Say to that. ask another bitch to pay his bills, I can't respect you. You know what? I'm, sorry. I'm with you. But? But. In but the age of Instagram. Man, fuck out of here with that shit. And. Nope. Nope. <laughs> premium Snapchat. No, fuck Hold that. on. This nigga got kids. Fuck you had to change the game. Fuck that. No, 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 no. This man. This little it, boy. It, no, it, you just look like a bum, yo. You have a whole job. You out here paying. You trying to be like the next nigga and don't got no type of money like right, him. Right, right. But you asking a bitch you don't know. Mind you, you ask the bitch, she pay your bill. And you talking about, oh, I got to chill with her for one day. So, mm-hmm. so I appreciate it. Allegedly, allegedly. These stories are not real. That, no. That yes, they are. It's real as fuck. They are you real. Know, listen. Listen, <laughs> and every time I see him, I'm like, yo, you don't like you just not to even have no gas money, not like, to even look at money, put in nine gas. Every time I look at this nigga, I'm just like, yo, she bitches are stupid as fuck. All right, so yo, you finesse king. I'm sorry, you a finesse king. Listen, I got a question. All right, I got a question. So, what's up with this new premium snap Snapchat that y'all girls been doing? Who, and, first and, of all, and, and, and. myself out of this. Okay, first of all, that's not new. It's uh-huh. gotten more popular over the years, but it's not new. So explain I what's premium Snap. I personally have known about premium, quote unquote, Snapchat for at least three years. Okay, it ain't nothing new. I know people who have been selling nudes and selling access to Snapchat for quite some time. They making money off it. I don't knock nobody's hustle. I just feel like. If y'all gonna do it, y'all gotta know how to do it properly. How do right? how, how you do it properly? First of all, you, pimp, pimp, <laughs> hooray! Um, if you are you going, gay, pimp, pimp, <laughs> come on, one more time, pimp, pimp, stop. I'm so done. come on, I gave her the layup. Look, <laughs> that was so cheesy. Come on, that, that's I'm, the point. I'm no, done. come on. So my thing with it is, like we spoke about earlier, people who are actually on Instagram playing with their vaginas or whatever, or playing with their dicks because niggas is having premium Snapchats too. Don't let, don't sleep on it. What? And yes, mm-hmm. niggas got, you know, they, they got to get their coin too. And, you know, they're posting videos on Instagram. Equality. Yes, of course. Everybody wants some. And it's a minute long video or however long of them playing with it. Shadow says Shorty even came in the video. So it's kind of like, what's the point of paying for it? Why buy the car if you're going to get the milk for free? You know what I'm saying? That's my take on that. If you're advertising for premium snap, give a teaser. Give, you know what I'm saying? I had this one shorty, right? Well, I should say, I, I knew this one girl. I had this one shorty. I, knew, I had, I there had was, this one shorty, There was right? this young lady that I know, I knew, right, who was doing the premium Snapchat thing. And what she would do is, even though she was post a video, it would be a pixelized video. So you can get like an image of what she's doing, but you won't actually see it. And she'd be like, hey, this is how much you pay per month. And if you want extras, this is what you get. She had like a package deal and everything. And where you can get, you know, full on nudes or you can get like teasers. Because, you know, people have different fetishes and kinks or whatever. They can do. It was a bunch of different things that she had. Categories and things. You know, minute long videos sent directly to you. Or, you know, yeah, but you paid extra for this. Because the other video. For a minute. Or however long, five minutes, ten minutes, they had increments. There was like a silver package, a platinum package. It was she had a business going with the shit. She was selling used panties too at the same time. You know, all of this. I feel like if you're doing it like it's a real business, it's not just I'm bored. Let me see what I can do with it. It don't make no sense because you might as well just send a nigga your naked pictures and just get your life because <laughs> what's the point? Mm-hmm. But if you're actually trying to make a living off of it, there is a market for it. But there's so many people saying that they're doing it and are really like just half asking like what was it we saw the other day somebody put was it two hundred dollars a night or three hundred dollars for the weekend and i was just like sis i might as well spend a weekend for you right if it's only a hundred dollars more like right. y'all, well maybe that's the trick for they don't you know to, math may, well no maybe that's the trick for you to get really she want 300 really it's 300 she want 
That's dumb. Right. So these hoes low balling on their pussy though. This, uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. Mm-hmm. But but check it. Technology now. I got two takes on this. Technology now. How are you going to really make money off of this premium snap when, well, when hold on, wait, when porn is free? You have many porn sites and people is recording the shit that you sent to them. People is recording it on their phone and putting well, it on these sites. The wonderful thing about Snapchat is unless you're using two external devices instead mm-hmm. of doing screen recording, you won't know. So if you Snapchat, do screen record, you can see it? Yeah. Snapchat lets you know that someone recorded it. It says someone Snapchat your, um, snapshot your video or whatever the case is. It'll show well, you. Well, I know there's a way they're doing it. You know, it's funny. There was even a scapegoat way where you can do like the double tap on the um, iPhone and you can record it that way, but they changed it. So now even that shows yeah. up on there. But I mean, I know someone who was doing it where they delete everybody at the end of the month and you have to pay the access again to do it. And if you send your money ahead of time, you stay and stuff like that. But the thing with the premium Snapchat also, like you don't, People have stipulations in their man, guidelines. You a pro, man. What's up? Um, you, you ain't got an account? I'm done. I have an account, but it costs too much for y'all to buy, so I didn't put anything on there. Oh, but gotcha. I, <laughs> gotcha. my pussy too expensive for me to just be showing it to everybody. Gotcha. Like that. I'm, yeah, no proper pussy management. But I just I'm feel sorry. like <laughs> I just Shay's feel like drunk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think. But it's. Like I said, it's a business if you're gonna do it properly. Otherwise, you might as well just give it away. Like it's you just want some spare change for the weekend. Because all of their premium snaps is on the porn sites, all of them. Oh well, see, all of them. That's if true. you go and type in the Snapchat premium or whatever, stuff. whatever, like it doesn't matter. It's still on there. Like lit everything. Like Shay going. said. You know what's Like funny? Shay said, from start to end, like it's mm-hmm. it's on there. So my thing with that though, like we talk about nudes and everything. No face, no case. Some people, they be putting all their distinguishing markers uh-uh. in their videos. Their ta- exactly. But they don't care, though. Their tattoos and their birthmarks I and got, this. I got, um, what's called? You ever think you about it? Tattoo? Porn stars have Instagrams. Yeah. Yes. So it's like... It's but they're porn stars, though. I'm talking about the average Instagram model who, you know, still live at like home with her mama. Out, right now, they're going to have a whole heart attack. Yeah, you, just like you have. Look, just like you have. The Tyra Banks, mm-hmm. and then you have the the Instagram models. Mm-hmm. You know, you might have the uh, 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 um, Jada Fire, and then you gonna have the the uh, Snapchat porn stars. Yeah, but and the Instagram Snapchat, porn stars. The Snapchat porn stars, though, some of them are living at home and trying to save up to get a car, and you know, they're Instagram trying to models. Go to school. Yeah, but I'm no talking bed. About, listen, <laughs> I'm just talking about the people who are doing it and not in a smart way because, like I said, no face, no case. Y'all are showing off y'all tattoos, y'all piercings. Y'all got the the same fresh pedicure and manicure in these pictures. Sound like you're talking everyone, about an Instagram model. I, no, I'm saying if you're gonna do <laughs> know, it and you're trying it. to be discreet with it, yeah. you're not doing it the right way. Because so I keep your head out of it because we know your hairstyles. <laughs> me personally, I like elusive nudes. Like me, I like things that are like I don't want. I don't want a money shot. That's not alluring to me. Now, if you put your fingers in there or whatever, you got a. What's fresh, a money shot to you? The pum pum just spread out. Oh, that's not the money shot for men. What is a money shot when you come on their face? Face. <laughs> come on, man. Anyways, you know it. Continue. Continue. Anyways, the pump pum is where the money is. Back to what I was saying. <laughs> if you're going to do something like that, you know, do t- cute teasing stuff, you know, I got underwear on, some cute sexy lingerie or whatever. That's cute to me. I like shit like that. I don't mm-hmm. want to just see you butt booty neck and just sit on there. Like, that's not enticing to me personally. Me personally. Now, some people are into that. I also don't need to see your face in any of these. I, you know, I, I respect you. Someone might hack my phone. Who knows? So I, I'm okay with, you know, alluring, you know, discreet stuff. Like now? Like even now? Now what? Even like, like today. Like would mm-hmm. you, you still like porn? Not, not porn, but like people sending you nudes and things like that. Like I how I said, like I'm not really into that. Like if you send it to me, cool, I'm 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 with it, but I'm not gonna I'm, ask for it. If I'm in a relationship and the person I'm with sends it, hell yeah, I'm down for that. 
I'm always Pointless. Down for why that. you always come with these PC ass political I Disney don't want, answers? I don't want random people sending me nudes. That's <laughs> what I'm trying that. to say. I don't want random people sending me nudes. I've had it. You know I don't. I don't want random people sending me news. That's why I'm saying it like that. If I'm in a relationship though, either today or tomorrow, and the person I'm in a relationship with, and they send me nudes, I'm all down for it. But if some random person, no. You send the nudes. In, if a I'm in a relationship, yeah. Yes, 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 why not? Uh, your face in it? No. Hell no. Shit. I might even I fling my necklace back because everybody knows my necklace and ring. You with bitch, bitch, I'm crapping your face out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I slip and get my chin and my mole in there, I'm cropping I'm that cropping. out. Like, I have so many more questions, but I have to go. We're going to do this in like 10 parts. This episode is never going to be done. <laughs> no, this is great. This is good. This is a good enough length for y'all. This is Where like an hour and a half. No, this is like at that. least an hour and a half, I think. Oh, man, you about to fall asleep on us? So. No, because no, I was going to ask y'all um, if y'all like to be recorded, but don't answer that. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. To be time. continued. Oh, Jesus. You see it, we didn't even, like to be recorded. We didn't even... First of all, I wanted to talk about the whole boy gay, girl gay, straight, bisexual man thing, but that's a whole other thing, because I had tests for y'all to take and everything, but we're going to oh, get Jesus. back to that. I yeah. Yeah, I had a test for y'all. I told y'all, I like the podcasts where we just start talking and you just, just go. Like, it's cool. it's good to have the... to prepare, like, to have your topics and stuff like that, but I, I, I find it very... You know what I mean? Invigorating. Yeah, invigorating. That's the word. Yeah, like it's just the constant motion. Just stupid. talk, just talk, you know? Yeah, so shouts out to Shadow. She's about to fall over because she's drunk. <laughs> um, but I, I held the conversation. Yes, you did. She did. Disgusting. You drink some water. I'm disgusting. And shouts out to Pointless for having me on on her show on a Wednesday. Anyways, you know? we're going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to follow us on all the social media outlets. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pointless Talks. At partially P-O- event. <laughs> I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S. Pointless sorry, Pointless. Talks. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, as far Do as Instagram goes, it's partially ignora. No, no I think that's, that's Twitter. Twitter. That's Twitter. Oh, that's Twitter? Twitter. Okay, well, it's Twitter. Well, no, Twitter. start over because I, I, I messed you up on purpose. Well, no, y'all can y'all can do y'all thing because, you know, save the best for last. We got Pointless Talks, Partially Ignorant, Lyrical Content, Shadow T. Find them on all the social media outlets. Every a hey, we all me. on uh what's it called Spotify. Oh, we on Play Spotify Music. now. Shadow's not on there yet. We, you coming though, baby? You coming? <laughs> you know we starting out. You know we getting there. We getting there. Yes, look up lyrical content and partially ignorant on Spotify. Um, pointless be this to it already. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Shadow T coming. Make sure y'all also follow Shadow the T Kingdom coming. Studios FTL on. Instagram, that's Kingdom Studios, FTL. Kingdom Studio, no S at the end. FTL at on Instagram. Um, Shouts out to Biz, man. Always holding Street. it down. Making sure we sound nice and crisp and clean. Um, Wait, one last thing, Pointless. What is that? How do you like being recorded? This is like your first show with like three cameras on you. That doesn't Lights count, on. though. It's, 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 it's live. It's different. How is it different? It is different because it disappears after 24 hours. That's true. Not really. Not if you save it and leave it as a highlight. The whole hour and change is going to be a highlight. Or you can save it and leave it as a TV. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Please don't do that. that. You see? (laughs) She's definitely not doing that. Yeah, I... No, I'm not even... You see how I had to bring it back around to Pointless? Because this is what, you know... Mm, yeah, team. no. I'm weird about that. My hair ain't even looking right. I look like Strega. And I looking but like I'm just saying, how does it feel like just... Did, I didn't did, pay attention to it. Because that's what it, I was saying. Well, because it's different. It's not three cameras I, set I'm up recording me. Yeah, we don't have like studio lights beaming on us like y'all do. We're partially ignorant in local content. Like <laughs> Listen, you know, y'all got the whole studio set up and everything. This is two iPads and, you know, we out here Yeah, recording. but look, well, yeah, I guess you're right. That light is not as bright. Yeah, it's but not it's... as imposing or intimidating as a studio setup. Like, mm. I feel like I'm on TV when you set up your lights for your show. But I feel like I was on TV for this show. This was cool. It was like a um, a real talk show? sexual <laughs> talk show after dark type of thing. Oh, y'all you know? used to watch that little old white lady who used to do sex talks at night. I feel like I remember. She used her. to talk about sex talks. Yeah. old white lady. Mm-hmm. Yes. What's her name? Doctor Ruth. Dr. Ruth. Yes. Dr. Ruth. Sex talks with Doctor Ruth. Yo, I used to love that wrinkly old bitch. She was so cute. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> 
she was out. <laughs> she was talking about sex toys. Yeah, and I used to just be like, oh my God. Old bitch. <laughs> nah, I remember her, her for real. She's okay. But she was like, she <laughs> was dope. Janae, we was watching her when we was probably 21. She's gone. No, she, I was like 12. <laughs> that, I, was, yeah, I wanted she... to say 12, but I didn't want to sound creepy. <laughs> I wanted to say 12, but I didn't want to sound creepy. She's gone. Honestly. <laughs> Okay, no, she gone. I'm gonna look her up. I don't want to believe that Doctor Ruth is gone. No, Uh, she is in heaven giving sex tips. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. All right, right, uh, go ahead. uh, Point. Let's wrap up this show. My bad. Because this was this was very nice and and very dope. Um, About her being dead though. All right. Well, old. That's what I'm saying. She's a Gemini. Gemini. Yeah, she's a Gemini. Like eighty. Twenty-eight. What day? June fourth. Yeah, I don't see an end. It just shows. Oh, so she's still alive? Born June 4th, 1928. That's right, Yeah. Got it. All right, so Dr. Ruth is still living. All right, so see? Sex keeps you alive longer. That's mm. what it says. So, <laughs> we, we wrapping up for real now? For real? Oh, we, shit. I might save this for my show. Let me write this down. I can't. Oh, Jesus. Um, Where's your phone? Oh, you're I seen I seen a, a, a video of a lady saying... I guess she's like a, a sexologist. And she said, women cheat more than men. And we're out, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. You can find us on all the social media outlets. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pointless Talks. You can also find us on the podcast in color directory. Oh, you hate it? Y'all hate it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all sleep. Um, subscribe to the podcast, Pointless Talks, on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music, Google Play Music, all of the fun shit. If you like us, rate us, give us five stars, keep on about my feelings, them to in a self. And just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Pointless Tea, Shadow Talks, Partially Ignorant, etc. Yeah. Yeah. I know so do you eat rice and peas or rice and beans? Oh my god, look at Or is it peas and rice? <laughs> it just sounds weird. It's the same shit, but it sounds weird. <laughs> Rice and peas or peas and rice? Mm. Lick it, JBN. Mm-hmm. Um, listen, I'm drunk. It's time to go. You, you are not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just tired. I'm trying to lay on my bed. <laughs> Where is the basura? Listen, that was a very disgusting episode you guys had. I just want y'all to know that.